Now that you made it this far, it is time to kill the folk lord and end this level. Go through the as you can see, I just did. I just went through the doors. Now, once in in the area, you're gonna see a little cutscene. I guess I can't really repeat it with anything said because there is nothing being said. That thing right there is the folklore, a gigantic, somewhat looking spider. It shoots fire out of its mouth and it jumps and shoots missiles. Be ready for this thing. It's not really hard and complicated once you start getting the hang of it. Go around back, go to the tank side. Be careful for it. it's jumping. As you can see, I just got hit right there. You cannot attack anything until you destroy the backside. How do you want to destroy the backside? You want to use the volcano. But you cannot use the volcano dude at when he's like that. The only way to do it is when he jumps and lands like that. Because he brings down his abnet. Attack him with the volcano. Aim at it. Just leave it there. Because the volcano will keep attacking and attacking and attacking until you call it off. His abnet will start beating more red and red until finally it'll shatter. Be careful when it starts to jump. When you see you getting ready to jump, just jump up in the air. When you hear like that, something like that, you want to um pull out the pat you want to pull out the patriot so you don't get hit by the cannons and keep it there for a little while so you make sure you don't get hit by the cannon. As you see there, the abnet has finally been destroyed. So now the legs are free to attack. Use the drops and do it to keep attacking the legs. And, it, and the only way to get... Because once you attack the legs, then you can attack the mouth. But the thing is, if you destroy one leg and you attack it again, the dude won't stay down there for very long. Keep attacking it while it's shooting out its fire out from its front mouth. From its mouth. I just showed one of the shield and then they attack the leg. And it drops them. As you can see, he got up way, way too fast, and I got hit pretty hard. You want to keep moving around. You don't want to stay in the same area. And when he jumps up there, you want to be away from it. And you want to pull out the Patriot to use as a guard. And you see, I dropped him again, but he shoots off fire way too fast. Attack the leg. Destroy that leg. Here I'll just testing things out just to make sure that it is that it's see if he stays any down any longer. Run to its mouth. Again, it doesn't stay down that far, that long. Best thing to do is keep running around that they go to the side and you just attack it. I accidentally hit something by an accident because I thought I had to go do something really fast. Sorry about that. And that came back and you just attack its leg. And I had to go this one again. I am sorry for, for all that stuff if, like that. You hear an explosion once you know that you destroy down, destroy the shields off its legs, and you'll see its legs are much more thinner, more skeleton-like. Attack one leg, and then that will finally drop it. Then that you rush to its head. And keep attacking. As you can tell, that the folklore has been staying down for a lot longer. You just keep hitting it and hitting it nonstop. When it gets back up again, just attack its legs so it'll drop down as fast as possible. It'll make a, it'll make a sound and let you know that it's going to go fall down. Then they attack its, its head again. Then it then wants to red. Now this is the mix absorb, so you gotta either do up and down or side to side. Right now it's up and down. When it turns when it's green, you don't do nothing, but when it's red, you flick your controller down. When it's blue like that, you move your controller side to side, and I'll rock it back and forth and slam it into the ground. Keep doing that until it's finally red, and I'll give you uh, an arrow. You flick your controller one time, and then you'll get him. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, if you have did this, you finally killed the folklore for level 2. This is now, I'll show you this little cutscene like it is now of him dying. But the level is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen, there's still a little bit more you gotta do before you can finally complete the level.
Looks that done the lady that you talked to a couple minutes a couple minutes ago will meet up with you and start telling you what's all happening and you'll ask her. You'll be asking her to explain and tell her to explain things and so she'll help you out. When you're done talking with her, you'll find Ryan and you'll talk to him. And he'll explain to you what happened 17 years ago in the game. On what secrets on what secrets there is to the village that they are on. That is Ryan, if I believe that's how you say his name. Talk to him, and like I said, he'll explain to you what happened from what he remembers. I'd like to take this time while this is happening and say, if you like my videos, can you please rate and subscribe to them? And if you do like them, please leave a comment. And if you had, if you like my idea on the video walkthrough, please rate, please comment on my videos and tell me that. Because I have some ideas for more video on walkthroughs, but if you guys do not like them, it's just a waste of time. I would like to know that. Well, if it helps you out and you like the story behind this, please subscribe. Please um rate comment on my videos and if you have any other idea for different games that you would like me to do please write them down and I'll message you, I'll message you guys back as soon as possible I only got a PlayStation 3 and 2 I don't have no Xbox I cannot do Xboxes I can only do PlayStation 3 and 2 and yes the talking is a lot on this part right here as you're done, there is really no more action, no more fighting. It's just all talking, cause you are kind of, you are technically done with the level, but you're not finished yet. You still need to get the collected that you need to collect the information. But you're done talking with him. It'll go. It'll kind of show you like a little video of things that happen. Ryan will finally show you his memory of what he has, so you can watch it. It goes by fast, ladies and gentlemen. Reading of the text so that's is why you couldn't really see anything. But when you're doing it, when you're playing the game yourself, it's best it, you can read it a lot better. I know this is kind of a spoiler to to everyone, but it doesn't give you the right feel of like when you're playing it by yourself. I'm just pretty much just showing you what to do, like a walkthrough of everything that's happening in the game. Like I did say, if you have any other games I might have played, I can answer to you in person or I can make a little video log of it and I'll send it to you and show you what to do. Once you're done talking with him and you're done looking at his memory, go back to the save point and use the, and use the save point to teleport back to the human world. Once you're done with that part, go back and talk with, her, we'll talk with the lady in the wheelchair. I'm about to say Harriet, but I cannot remember her name. Once back, you respond at the church. Now I'll run back. Now run back into town and go speak with the lady in the wheelchair. Tell her what you have learned, and she'll give you some information. 